a little difficult to take off though. Yeah? There's a challenge for you, Amazon. Can't, I, I, you can't I, hear me. I can tell the difference. Should I mess with it or? So I'm like, oh, ta -da. Feels like it might fall. This is extremely useful. <laughs> Sleek is exactly the word I was gonna right. use. My God, my ears are numb, like, you know. If you're looking for a reason to upgrade, that might be the one. Hey guys, Wayne here from Sling Pilot Academy. I'm super excited to be sitting here with a brand new Bose A30 headset. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna unbox uh, the A30. We're gonna uh, put it next to an A20, have a look at the, the key differences. We're lucky enough that one of our CFIs, Jennifer, bought an A30 at Sun and Fun. Uh, she flew all the way back with it. So she's spending up to eight hours a day flying with the, with the A30. So we're gonna talk to Jennifer about her experience. She's used the A20 extensively as well. So I think she's gonna have some great feedback. So let's crack into this bad boy and we'll let you know what we think. All right, let's get into it. Let's see. It's has a lot of different tape on it. Pretty nice box to start. It does look nice. A little difficult to take <laughs> off though. <laughs> there we go. Move that out of the way. We've got more, more plastic. Okay, so we've got the headset here. You wanna, oh no, you can just lift it out of the bag. Uh, we have some instructions. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so the bag's a little different. Definitely. Wow, and it feel, immediately feels lighter to me. It is definitely lighter. Okay, so we've got the A20. So that's significantly lighter even in the bag. Yeah. Yeah? Feels a bit similar, but definitely this one feels lighter. Have we got some scales? <laughs> I'm not I, kidding. I don't think, I don't know. So, I mean, at first glance, this new bag, I mean, I like it. I like the new look. It's a little more sleek, it will fit in my bag easier. Um, let's open this, open this thing up and have a look. Okay. Very nicely packaged. If I can work out how to undo it. Okay. Okay, well, I've, I'm impressed with the packaging. So this feels like uh, it's it'd, be, it'd, be real hard to, it'd be real hard to damage. There's a challenge for you, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I remember opening the A20s and it's definitely a step up from that for sure. So just also this this whole mic boom is uh, feels nicer to me. It does. It's a lot. It's thinner, which I think means that you can maneuver it a lot easier. Yeah. It doesn't take so much effort to bend it. So complete redesign. It's somewhat similar uh, in some ways, but I really like it. I really like this new look. It's just got a more modern look and feel. I like the, the yeah. mic boom is super flexible and light. It feels more finished than the A20. Just has a nicer look and feel to it for sure. Yeah, so the controls are similar here. Where we can mute the mic, we've got Bluetooth. Oh, and in this case here, it's actually, it's got a high, medium and low yes. uh, for the noise cancellation, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep um, getting this thing stripped down. But 
Looking here, it's, it's substantially similar to the old one. The, the main difference here is, is the ability to do high, medium, or low on the, on the noise cancellation. The normal A20 headsets are actually geared toward only GA pilots, whereas these headsets are geared toward uh, airline pilots, GA pilots, everybody. It's going to be a lot less sound okay. in the airline cockpit, okay. um, and then they don't need it, and they, they can't hear each other as well if they try to talk back and forth. With the low one, apparently, uh, you should be able to have a nice conversation, but still have it block out some of the more loud noises. Yeah, okay, well that makes sense. Overall, everything feels really nice. Like just the quality of the volume knobs here. Um, as some of you might know who have the A20, you can control the volume on both the left and right ear, which I, I actually find really useful. Because I have the A20s, I'm in the, I'm in the habit of, of tweaking it, so it's comfortable for me in, in each of my ears. But yeah, overall really nice. I mean, obviously I, I love the A20. I've used it, I've used it for, gosh, about five years now or something. I uh, really love it. Um, you know, I just don't think you can go wrong with buying bows. So let me. Okay, the first thing I notice is it's not gripping my head the same way that the A20 does. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's a lot softer. I remember trying it at Southern Fun. Yeah. Yeah, so right away there, I feel, I feel like I have enough uh, enough pressure to, to make the uh, to have the ear cups fit really nicely, but not as much as the A20. And I do notice if I'm flying with my glasses on, especially oh, if I have my glasses on, I start to get a really weird pain in the like tops a of my almost. ears. So I'd be interested to hear from Jennifer and see if that was uh, you know made a significant difference to her. But it just it feels lighter on my head. I know there's not much of a difference in the weight, but for me putting it. Putting on my head, I can, I can definitely, uh, it, it definitely feels lighter for me on my head. You know, if you're flying for eight hours, you know, I mean, the longest I've spent in the cockpit was 13 and a half hours flying from here to Florida on a non-stop. You know, in a long day like that, I think that would make a significant difference. And, yeah. I, and I'm really interested to, to hear what Jennifer thinks. Uh, so we missed some things in the bag here. So what else do we have? Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got a little 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. So if you want to use these for audio, and I hear that these do a really fantastic, I mean, obviously it's Bose, they're going to do a great job for, for music and audio. Okay, That's so I see like a rubber. sleeve, yeah. I see the silicon sleeve here, yeah. Ah, so that goes, is that so that you can hang it on something? Yeah, I think it is. I think actually, oh, you can do it both ways, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's, so you can hang it on the little headset hook where you'd put your headset. Oh. You can hang this up so that it doesn't kind of pull on you anymore. Wow, that's nice. So you could hang, you could hang your headset on the hook and then also hang your cable on the hook. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense, especially in the rear of the aircraft. I noticed when we hang the headsets up, the cords just kind of hang everywhere. So yeah. uh, I, I kind of like that. So you can hang headset and the cord uh, from the hook. That's it. Batteries. Oh, no, batteries. That's, that's different too, isn't it? Oh, so. well, that looks a lot easier. The other one, you kind of have to muscle it off. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. So I'm interested to see. This is quite different. I know, I know for a fact that the other ones are quite difficult. We use these headsets uh, in our demo plane and I've replaced the batteries a lot. And on, the, uh, on that one, I know I have to use quite a lot of force to open it up, but this one closes and opens really nicely. And you know what, when you're flying, like let's say you're on, you're on final approach uh, and you need to change your batteries. And believe me, you know when you have to change your batteries when you're using the noise cancellation, it comes in kind of loud when the battery's cut out. So, uh, you know, having that be a little bit more convenient, a little easier to do, I think is, uh, I think it's going to be something you would notice, and especially on a long trip. Extremely beneficial, yeah. for sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah, we just turn on the noise cancellation. Move this out the way. So let me pop this on and see. Wow. Can you hear anything I'm saying? I can't. I, I, you can't I hear can't. me. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I just turned that down to low, and I can hear you talking now. Yeah. 
Check, check. Testing, okay. testing. Medium. Now I've got that on medium. Hello, hello, hello. I can still hear you actually. So now I can see why this would be useful in the cockpit. Yeah, that, that noise cancellation is very, very effective. Uh, and you know, I mean, that's the best part of the bows. Wow, I can, I can tell the difference. Just all of these things being just a little bit better, a little bit easier, a little bit nicer, I'm guessing are gonna add up to a you know, much better overall experience. It's a more modern, more sleek design. Uh, you know, just this here, uh, it's almost like an Alcantara, sort of newer it is. style it is of that. fabric. This has just a, you know, fur. But yeah, just overall, just a, just a little, a little newer, a little sleeker. Um, this is a lot nicer. Yeah, it's easier to adjust up and down. I feel like they've gone through every piece of it, every component, and thought, how do we make this better? You know, how do we make this better? How do we do a, a better job? Because I feel like each little part of it, you know, the mic boom, um, the, the, the cups, uh, the way they're set up, um, just the whole thing overall is just a little bit more modern, a little sleeker, a little newer design. Yeah, just getting the back on and off is easier. Adjusting your mic boom is easier. Um, if you want to move the mic to the other side, the A20 requires a screwdriver, and this one you can do with nothing. You can pop it off and put it onto this side. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's a nice feature as well. So does that just... Um, should I mess with it or? Oh, so that just pulled out this way. There you go. Wow, look at that. that so came out that's really very easily. cool. That comes out real easy. So you probably have to have to pull these out, is my guess. So you pull both of those uh, out. Oh, the other one was in. That's what yeah. Happened. Push that there you in go. and then pop Close those on. closed. I, I really like it. So is it worth changing? For me, I'd say yes, just based on the, the feel of it sitting on my head alone. So I mean, I haven't used it in the aircraft yet, but just the way it feels on my head, uh, the fact that it's easy to, to change batteries, you can move the mic boom, the mic's easier to move, it's lighter. I, I, I like it. I love it. I Honestly, having tried this and comparing it to the A20, I just, like you were saying, I think everything is just a little bit nicer. Everything's a little bit better. I'd switch, I'd get a new one. Yeah. Go out there, get yourself a Bose A30. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they've just taken it to the next level. You know, they've definitely done a better job on almost e e every piece of it. So uh, I really like it, yeah. All right, let's sit down with Jen and we'll talk about what she thinks and how it's compared to the A20 for her so far. Today, I'm here with Jen, who got her A30 at Sun and Fun recently. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how it's been for her so far. This is really nice. I highly recommend it. <laughs> but before we get into that, um, yeah, like honestly, I have no complaints so far. Um, it's been really nice. I flew back from Sun and Fun all the way from Florida to California using these headsets, and I love them. Let's talk about the cases. What do you think so far? So it's slimmer than the A20 cases, but um, my only complaint is there's no pocket here like that. Cause like I have nowhere to like store my checklist. So I have to like carry it separately. So I'm like, oh, but that's just my one only complaint. All right, let's unzip them and uh, see what's yeah, on the inside. Yeah, let's do that. Ta-da! <laughs> I do like this little pocket though, because like you can actually put your spare batteries mm -hmm. and your stuff in it, like you know. Okay, let's compare them. So when I was flying from uh, back from Sun and Fun, we spend seven to eight hours every single day flying back. So um, I would say by the end of the day, my ears don't feel as tired as like when I was wearing A20 flying there. 
because like the clamp was like less. I, I just feel like there's like less pressure. Yeah. Like and then at the end of the day, like you know, you like your ears don't feel like numb. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the guy saying when we talked yeah. to him at the show mm -hmm. that. What was it? There was like a third or half of the clamping pressure right, in the right. new one. Yeah, about um, 30%. So yeah. This one definitely does. It, it does a good job of keeping it on your head really snugly. But like Jem was saying, if you're flying for you know six hours, eight hours in a day, it's going to start affecting you know how it feels on your head. Right. And what I like about the mic, it's like it's super easy to move around. Whereas this one was kind of like it's kind of tight. I guess in a yeah. sense, yeah, yeah. This one, it, it moves more smoothly. This one moves easier, but it feels like it might fall if you, you know, keep right, tapping right. it. Yeah. Like if you leave it out here, then it might fall down. This yeah. one feels pretty secure. You can kind of move around a little bit. Yeah. And apparently you can switch from this side to the side, like without using a tool. Yeah, so this one you need to actually yeah. unscrew it. So right. you'll, if you want to take this off and move it to the other side, you'll actually need a screwdriver, whereas this one, I believe you can just pop it right off. Right. Can you feel it? Like it feels a little... It's pretty similar right? feeling. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. does feel yeah. a little rounder, maybe. Right. Like this one. Yeah, you feel you're it right. has kind of like yeah. an edge. Yeah. So so the cushions, like, it feels a little rounder. And, but yeah, like I said, like the, the clamping is like just so much more comfortable <laughs> than that one. So this part feels softer as well, like um, compared Definitely. to this. And it makes you like flying like much more comfortable because of that, yeah. I totally agree. Over time, this one that's kind of like a fur or wool starts to get matted and pushed down and it just becomes really dense and it's not comfortable anymore. At the beginning, it starts off very comfortable, uh, but after you know a few hundred hours using this thing, it really gets pushed down. Whereas this kind of maintains its uh, shape and squishiness a little bit better. And for this part, um, I guess we can talk about this a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So in terms of the controllers, they quite different as well. Cause like um, for mine, like the newer version have noise canceling levels, right? I can yeah. do high, medium, low. It's geared for multiple types of aircraft. So these A20s, although they're really nice, they're mostly geared toward the general aviation crowd. Um, whereas these ones, they can be used in a more quiet cockpit, like a, you know, like an airliner or something like that, uh, if they wanted to be. And that's because of the change in active noise canceling. So we've talked about how these are different, but how they're the same is they both have volume adjustment for the radio, like for what's coming in through the plane input right here uh, on the top. They both have a volume for the Bluetooth input on the side there. And then they have a Bluetooth button, so how to connect your device. Uh, and then also going between mute, mix, and off, so deciding if you want to listen to what's connected to your Bluetooth or not. It has the same two connections. Um, these cables look pretty similar. Uh, they both have this nice little clip. Oh yeah. This is extremely useful. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you kind of get this caught on things and it can pull on your head if you right. try and turn yeah. and stuff and like pull your headset off. In terms of the design, I feel like it's so much nicer and like sleeker. If I agree. That sleek, sleek is exactly <laughs> right. the word I was going right. to use. Like yeah. It, yeah. They just look so much better put together. Right. This looks a little bit more like a prototype right. to me, you know, with like the more skeleton looking right. things, the, yeah. these little adjustments. Right. Whereas like when you adjust that, it's easier it's as well. Easier as yeah. well. This is pretty yeah. tough. It looks like a little bit more of a finished product and it feels like it's maybe more. a little bit more worth the money. Right, yeah. <laughs> or like it looks that way at least. Yeah, I love my A20, but um, I just figured like it, it was time to upgrade because I had mine for a couple years and um, I spoke to people at Sun and Fun because I was trying to get mine service, right? And they were like, oh, we can't get your service here. It has to be, uh, they have to be sent to Michigan, I want to say. And we were told that like within like maybe six months, right? They're going to yeah. stop servicing A20, like, Total. Yeah, because like, the yeah. price point, it's only between, right. I think, one and $200 difference, Different. yeah. the new one. Yeah, yeah so I mean, yeah. we asked them when we were at the show, because I was right. curious, we said, what's the difference? Like, why is it only just a little bit more? Yeah. And the guy let us know, it's because they're actually going to phase these out. They're not going to be making the A20s anymore. Right. They're going to be focusing all on the A30s. And like Jem was saying, in as little as six months, they might not even be servicing these anymore. If you're looking for a reason to upgrade, that might be the one. Right, and if, if aviation's your thing or you are a pilot, I feel like it's a great investment because, I mean, obviously you're just not gonna throw them away within like a year or two. It's um, 
they meant to last, so I think it's a great investment. So as a new person coming into aviation that doesn't have a headset yet, I think, I don't know, for me it would be a no-brainer to get the A30. Absolutely. It's just a tiny bit more, you're spending that much money already. Like Jem was saying, it's a headset you're gonna be using for years to come, and you may as well just get this new one at that point, for sure. I don't know, what do, what do you think? I think you should totally get the A30. I mean, shop around a little bit, do some research, but I feel like A30 would be the best way to go. So you've used your A20 for a long time already, and you've now upgraded to the A30 and had it for about 30 hours? Yeah, it just feels great. And so far, like I said, I love it. Like it feels so much more comfortable, lighter at the end of the flight. I don't go, oh my God, my ears are numb, like, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I like it and I, um, I, I hope they last for a long, long time, and I'm pretty confident they will. Here at Sling, we love Bose. Uh, they're the only brand of headset that we partner with, so we include them in our bundle as an option. Uh, you can add them or not, and they're included in our financing options as well. If you don't buy the right headset, you're gonna end up buying it twice, so buy Bose and only buy it once. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps us with our channel. We really appreciate it. Should we get a little clapper? Am I there? We should yeah, get a little like clapper. Think we're here with the old and the new. <laughs> <laughs> so let's crack into this bad boy and we'll let you know what we think.